Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, um, it is the first evening of the Realmathon uh, Peace Talks weekend, uh, which has not the official name for it, but it kind of is because everyone's calling it that. Anyway, um, the weekend in which every book we read for Realmathon gets extra points for our team. So, of course, I'm doing a lot of reading. Um, part of the rules is that you have to start or reasonably close to start the book during the weekend. So you can't read most of a whole bunch of books, you know, front load a whole stack and then just finish them all on the weekend. That's not allowed. So I am actually starting all the books that I'm finishing this weekend, this weekend. All the books that I've been continuing to read um, going into today um, are put aside as of, oh, about a couple hours into it, actually. Um, I did finish the audiobook of Medea by Eilish Quinn, um, which was really good. I vaguely remembered the story of Medea, but not enough that the plot was spoiled for me. I know I read the play. It's like Sophocles, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, but I know I read the play um, quite a while back. So I should know Medea's story, but uh, it was a really good book. Uh, I listened to it as an audiobook. <laughs> um, actually, the, the reader's not bad. Her voice just bugged me. Um, she did a good job just for me. Um, she has a very breathy sort of voice. And she brings that out even more in the early part of the audiobook. Um, after a while, she did seem to just be reading the book, and it was better. Um, and she does a lot of children's voices, which any reader is going to have to do when reading the book. Uh, yeah, maybe I just don't like children's voices. I don't know. Um, anyway, so um, not my favorite audiobook. Not badly done, just bugged me personally. I think a lot of people would find her voice just fine, so it's probably just me. Um, anyway, uh, so that one is not uh, a Peace Talks book because I read most of it before Peace Talks weekend started, but uh, it's one of those from Hoopla that only had less than two days left on it, so it was going to have to be finished this weekend no matter what. So I finished that one and I'm moving on. I actually finished um, one book already for this weekend. I finished Drown by um, Juno Diaz, um, which was really good. I guess it's his debut novel or novel and short stories, um, but they do all come together. It doesn't seem like they do, but they do. Um, and it does make a cohesive novel by the end of it. Um, so it was really good. Um, I think the, um, the book everybody knows by Juno Diaz is The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow, which was really good and it won a lot of prizes and it's totally worth the reading. Uh, anyway, uh, the point of this video is to uh, show you guys what my Realmathon Peace Talks Weekend books look like for the most part. Um, there's three categories. Um, one category is a specific series. So these guys, see most of the ones in the bottom are white. And this one's part of the series. There are a few more. These are uh, Chinese murder mysteries by Robert von Gulick. They're set in ancient China. So unusual sort of murder mystery. Um, they're all short because so many of them have white covers. 
I had already pegged them for uh, Realmathon. So I'm going to try and finish a lot of them this weekend. Um, I also pulled a few other just short books. I have A Nun in the Closet by Dorothy Gilman. Um, Waiting for Orders by Eric Ambler, sort of a spy thriller. Um, I've read books by both of those authors, so that's continuing authors I've already read. Uh, the Three Minute Universe by Barbara Paul, a Star Trek novel. I don't know if I'll get to this one, but um, Only Yesterday by Frederick Lewis Allen. Just random book off my shelves that has a time word in it. Um, here's some more Gulick, Fun Gulick novels. Um, I did pull one sort of, it's kind of fiction, kind of nonfiction, kind of historical folk tales sort of book called Song of Heioka. Um, <laughs> by Hayama Hayama Yostis Storm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about how to pronounce their first name, actually. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out a little more as I get into this one because I don't remember which tribe this one's from. Um, and pronunciation is a lot easier when I know which um, linguistic origin they're from. Um, but I'm guessing it's Southwestern based on the cover art. Anyway, um, so that's my print books. But I also have a whole other category of books um, because I started doing NetGalley and I will be doing more videos about NetGalley because um, yeah, I'm definitely doing a lot more of it than I thought I was going to do. Uh, my percentage from a couple years ago is really bad because I had gotten a bunch of books. I was all set to do NetGalley and then my computer died and my internet died and everything was just not working. Um, and it was during COVID so it took longer to get anything working because, <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah, that was fun. And it ruined my net galley percentage. I went to zero with a whole bunch of books I didn't even look at for months. Uh, and I didn't look at net galley again for a couple years because that was demoralizing. Um, so I went on there again this year because of peer pressure, because <laughs> all my friends on BookTube are doing net galley. And I do have an account, so maybe I should try looking at NetGalley again. And so I, I put in for some, you know, read now books that you don't have to ask for. They're just there and you just read them. Um, so I read two of those and I've posted reviews. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll browse the other books just to see if there's anything that I want badly enough to embarrass myself by putting in a, a request because my percentage was still something like 6%, 11%, somewhere in there. Uh, yeah, so I put in my requests, and I got some. Not only did I get some, but I got um, one that I was particularly excited about, um, the new uh, novel in the Commissario Brunetti series by Donna Leon. Um, I really like that series. Um, Commissario Bernetti is a police inspector in Venice. So it's, um, you know, police crime novels, um, professional detective, and, you know, very much along the lines of any other series like that. Um, except they're in Venice. So things are quite a bit different. Um, taxis or boats. Uh, buses are boats. Um, people from elsewhere don't really do very well in the back streets of Venice because it's a maze. So they don't get a lot of crime from outside because 
um, they tend to get lost. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a different setting and it's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, more to the point, the book that I was approved for is book 33 in the series. And I'd put off reading the, the last couple books because I was waiting t till there was more than one. Uh, so I could binge read the next few because I like reading more than one of them. Uh, so yeah, now I, I all of a sudden have book 33. So I read books 31 and 32 this week, um, which were excellent. And now I'm ready to start book 33. Um, so I am actually on chapter two of that book. Um, the title is A Refiner's Fire. And I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I will talk about it a lot more um, once I've read it. But I'm very excited. And I may actually reread some of the earlier books from that series. Um, I don't know if I have book one, actually. I think I might no longer have book one. Um, but I do have a couple of them still. So I might sometime this year um, dive back into the beginning of the Commissario Brunetti series and, and reread them. Um, but yeah, so I highly recommend them. I was very excited. Uh, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about my net galley um, foray. And then I also got approved for Joseph Cannon's new book, Shanghai. Um, I have several of Cannon's books on my shelves. I haven't read them yet, <clears throat> but um, I've been fascinated by the idea of his books for a while. So now that I have um, his new book to read for NetGalley, um, yeah, I'm probably going to bump the others to my TBR as well. Not for April, because April is 1997. But, um, yeah, I'll probably do the rest of what I have of, of Canon's books in May. And that gives me some time to gather in others, because he's written more books than I'd realized. Um, so, anyway, I got a whole bunch of other NetGalley books as well. And the other books I'm reading this weekend, besides the print books I showed you guys, um, will be my NetGalley arcs. Um, cause they tend to read fast. I read a lot faster in the eBooks than I do on the printed page. I think partly just because they squish more words on the page before you have to click to the next one. Um, I am a little annoyed that several of my arcs don't have the feature built in where you can make the text bigger cause I'm reading on a smaller laptop screen. <laughs> So it's a good thing my eyes are not super aged yet. Otherwise, that would be a problem. Um, so if you are listening and you are involved in making NetGalley arcs, uh, the ability to change the size of the text is important for the people that are going to be reading your arcs so they can actually read them. Um, and there are some people that just won't read net galley arcs that have small font that they can't enlarge because they just can't read it. Uh, that is a problem. It's just a, a structural barrier to reading those books. Uh, so just saying, uh, I won't probably have that problem. Um, my eyes aren't that bad yet, but I'm in my 40s now. And I have to admit, my eyesight is probably no longer 1020 or 2010. Is it 1020? 1010? Anyway, I think it's 1020. Um, yeah, my eyesight was better than, you know, perfect for most of my life. And now I'm actually finding it that I can't see things as well as I used to. I'm still not to a point where I need glasses yet, I think, but. Mm. Oh, it's happening. Anyway, I digress. Uh, it is 2 o'clock in the morning, so that would be where the digressions are coming from. Um, 
Hopefully everybody is enjoying their peace talks weekend. Um, I will be posting this overnight. Um, yeah, so hopefully it'll go up before I go to work in the morning and I will continue reading. Um, I will be doing videos specifically about the NetGalley books when I finish the weekend, since I'm hoping to finish a lot of them all at once. Because uh, I can't read NetGalley arcs next month, because they're brand new books. So I'm going to try and finish the ones I've got by the end of this month, and then pause my NetGalley reading for a month. And then pick it up again in May. So that's the plan anyway. Um, we'll see how that goes. I may have to do a, a one day out of the week each week is, you know, net galley allowed. Um, maybe attach it to somebody's sprints or something. Like during this one person's sprints, I can read net galleys. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway. I'm going to sign off before this video gets too long since my computer is going to take forever to upload anyway. Um, and I will catch you again soonish. I, I did notice that it's the end of the third week of March, by the way. So at the end of this weekend, I will be doing another update video because, you know, with the readathon, I might as well just do it at the end of the readathon. So you'll get a weekly wrap-up Sunday night, so you'll probably see it Monday. Um, so anyway, talk to you again soon. Good luck if you are reading for this readathon. I'll see you again soon.